Finally, Max Park, arguably one of the greatest speed cubers of all time, and he finally just got the 3x3 world record single solve. Yeah, go check the records, he's never done it before. And this comes almost five years after the last time the world record was broken, 3.47 seconds by Yu Shengdu of China, who came out of nowhere and just destroyed the old record. And now his face is on boxes and he has his own line of cubes. I guess that was getting to be too much. And then Max Park was like, yeah, let me, let me just end this thing. And you already know, if you've seen the world record video, you see the number of views on it, you see the number of articles on this. Breaking the world record is huge, not just for the cuber who did it, but for all of cubing. And Max broke it by an insane amount again. So like, when's the next one happening? Like, think about it, 2018, right? 2018 was the last time this record was broken. And that was actually like very early on into my channel. I actually looked like this back then. Uh, if you think I look better now, you can let me know. But if I look worse, just... So don't get me wrong. I'm so excited that there's a world record, but it dropped by so much again. And obviously, as the record drops, it gets harder and harder to break the record, so you'd expect it to drop slowly. But for some reason, it's just dropping by giant margins. Like, look at this. The last three world records dropped by so much, and before that, we were almost, we almost had two ties. And five years, that's a huge amount of time. Like, I was just thinking about this the other day. There was a huge boom in cubing, and it happened a couple of years ago, not five years ago, okay? So there are a lot of new cubers who have never seen the world record get broken in their time as a cuber. Like, I wouldn't be shocked if it was more than a third or maybe even half of active cubers who have never seen the 3x3 world record single, the most prestigious one of them all, get broken, and that is insane, and I'm glad that has changed today. And if you just joined cubing right now after seeing this record, I got bad news for you. 3.13 is going to be a tough one to beat. And today I have the scramble with me right here. This is the exact scramble that Max got in his solve. I have not tried this yet. I will try it for the first time myself. And then I will try his solution and show you guys what he did. I see something really fancy that I think might work, but I'm not entirely sure. And I'm trying to keep it realistic, so I've stopped inspecting. So I'm just going to do what I've already planned. That is definitely not world record. Mmm. Okay. I, I just read the moves. I'm pretty sure I know what he did. I saw this during inspection, but I was too scared to do it because 15 seconds of inspection is just not enough time for me to plan that sort of thing. Yeah, but that's not real. That's me memorizing the scramble. So here's the reconstruction of what Max Park did in this solve. And if you would like to follow along, just put white top and green front and then apply this scramble to your cube. The start to the solve is actually really cool. So we have the white cross with red and orange already done here. Now you can just put green in one move and that is the first move we do. But there is this. And this is the really important part because when you put in blue, then the orange blue corner is going to get solved, which means you can also solve the orange blue edge in here. And then once you solve the cross, that gives you an X cross. This is a common concept. And for Max Park standards, th this is incredibly simple. Now, what you probably didn't notice there is that there is a red green corner attached to this orange blue edge. So when you insert this edge here, this corner will just go in here. Now that looks like useless information until you realize we can just do a D move, and now we can still put the edge, but the corner goes into its correct slot. By simply adding one move, we've solved an extra corner, and so now let's solve the edge that goes with it. It's like an infinite chain. Now we put the red-green edge into the red-green spot. Currently, there is a solved corner underneath it, so that's not going to work, or we'll take it out. So instead, we do a D move first, then we can put this one in here, and then D, and that is a double X cross. And wouldn't you know it, we just have a solved pair back here. So we can just insert that into the back. And now we have this as the final case. And uh, actually, I was thinking from here, you should do it like this, as that guarantees that you get a cross on top. And um, then we have a soon case here. But uh, Max did it from here like this, which saves a quarter turn, but leaves you with this OLL. And then it, it's, it's getting a PLL skip. <laughs> So that was just lucky again.
I mean, maybe he saw it, I don't think so, but this is the type of thing that you should expect to see in world record solves. Now, if you watch my breakdowns of Max Park solve, you will see that often I say, okay, here's what you could have done better at a certain point, because uh, I'm not saying I'm better than him, except when I find a random orange cross that gives a PLL skip that he didn't see, but it, it's hard to see all this stuff in the moment, so it's just, it's just me looking in hindsight. This is all for fun, but obviously at world record solve, I couldn't find anything better than his 31 moves, but here, I did find something. If you do everything he did to solving the first uh, two pieces right there, and then instead of doing D to solve the final uh, edge into that spot, uh, that takes out this corner. But if instead you did D prime, that still works because it's an unsolved corner here as you insert this edge. Now, what happens after that? Well, you still have this solved pair that's unaffected. And when you insert that, you now have a similar case. And if you just solve this in the most move efficient way, you get an OLL that leads into a PLL skip. So uh, it's like, even if you did the first part arbitrarily different from Max Park, you still would have ended up with a PLL skip and a very good solve. I feel like often when I find PLL skips on a very good solve, if I kind of change it, sometimes the PLL skip is still there and I don't know why. It's like the scramble is just imbued with PLL skip. So I wanted to show you guys something because it seems like 3.13 is really fast, right? I mean, it's even faster than I can do this dramatic pause. Just because the record got broken by a huge margin doesn't mean we, we're not likely to see another record get broken again. See, it's a big jump, but it happened over five years. And so you should expect a record to change a lot over five years. You just don't expect it to happen at once. You expect multiple records along the way. So that's what made the 3.47 so shocking. It, it happened at a time where no one expected it. But then ever since maybe about two years ago is when we started saying, okay, the 3.47, that's probably going to get broken soon. Nobody could do it. I mean, people could do it, but no one ever happens to do it. People have gotten close, though. We did start getting three-second solves. So if you ignored the 3.47, it looked like the world record was progressing at a normal rate. But I was curious about something, so I took all the records from the past 10 years. What does it tell us about future records? So on my little Google Sheets, when I put on the trend line, it gave me an equation, so I just used that equation and did some math with it. The details aren't important, but it did give me some predictions. When should we have actually expected a 3.47 to happen? Well, we got it over two years early because the prediction tells us that it should have shown up in January 2021 which is not that surprising if you were cubing around that time because you saw that like during uh, the 2020 times, even though people weren't competing, they were still improving very, very quickly. So when does it expect this to have happened? As it turns out, if we got a record of 3.13, according to this model of prediction, it should have happened in May of 2022, which means that a record broken today should be a lot faster than that. In fact, it's predicting 2.89. I mean, that does seem a little fast, right? But we just got 3.13. That's like 0 0.24 faster. Like if Max Park did the double flick and didn't do that one regrip, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll try not to do it next time. I Every time I talk about Max Park, I talk about his finger tricks. Anyway, I'm just saying, if a scramble that lucky happens again to a very good cuber in the near future, I would not be surprised if we saw another world record broken very soon because I do think there are a lot of people out there who could do it. It's just you need a lucky enough scramble, you need to be on that day, and you need to not make a mistake during this one. And we know Max Park is one of the most consistent and most reliable at delivering us world records. So of course, I'm so happy that he is the one who got it because his hard work is all paid off. Now this analysis that I did, is this mathematically sound? Is this scientific? No? And I can think of at least three reasons why, but I do want to show you something that it can do, which uh, it doesn't need to change your mind. I just wanted to, I just want to show you something. A lot of people heard about this world record. Uh, it also kind of went under the radar because it wasn't a real world record. But last year, Maddie got a 3.08 official solve. See, it was a real randomly generated scramble given to him where he solved under competition conditions. The only problem was it wasn't during the official portion of solves. So like, it's just, it just doesn't count as a world record. But even though it didn't count as a world record, it shows what was possible last year, 3.08. 
And keep in mind, one of the reasons why this is not a world record is because it's not really uh, competition conditions. No one else got this scramble. Like one of the things about competitions is your whole round gets all the same scrambles. No one got this but Maddie. But no one got this but Maddie. What if a bunch of other top keepers got the scramble? Like maybe one of them would have gotten a sub three. So, so that's not a real world record, right? So it doesn't matter. But someone last year solved a cube in a competition in 3.08. So if we plug 3.08 into my math and ask it, hey, when should this have happened? It's off by a month. It's making predictions with data from 2018 and it was off by a month. Coincidence? Yes, that's called confirmation bias. But all I'm saying is I wouldn't be surprised if another world record happened soon, please. I love when world records happen, but also you know if you break Max's world record, he's coming for you and we're getting even more. So happy to achieve a life goal. Oh, Max, my heart can't take it.